actually got something out. And actually, they're going to move on to Town and City. I guess they load a little bit of disagreement on it. Pokemon Stadium King will not be jumping the gun. As you said, we'll be placed in there. Got actually... Oh, Vader! Interesting. He's Luigi. actually going to pull out the Pac-Man. Still too confident against that Game & Watch. Against that Luigi matchup, but hopefully we'll be able to get something three, down with this. Two, one, go! Oh, I got my headphones tangled there for a second. Oh, I finally got it on table. So here we go, moving on forward with this matchup. So Pac-Man has gone with some. He's gotten a little bit better. His grab is actually an actual grab. He actually works pretty well. He can beat out a spot dodge. And it's pretty useful. But right now, Vader needs to go ahead and try to set up camps to get his projectiles down and slowly move him away. And the apple, there's so many things that Pac-Man can do with his projectiles. It's actually really cool to see what you can do with it and what you can really pull off. Because in Smash 4, Pac-Man has all these amazing options coming into the game. But the just kind of forgot about the mechanics of air dodging and whatnot. So his unable to really capitalize on that, but like Sinji and players like that were able to really exploit the fullest, but unable to get the best results possible. And here comes the curve around, actually. Mr. Kong Kong getting hit by that, but does catch the orange. He's gonna go ahead and throw that out, but not end one end of that vitamin C. Hits him up with that Zare once more, and using the down to try to do for him, but unable to find it at all. And using the tornado, it's not gonna kill just yet, barely. But great job, Mr. Konka, understanding that there's going to be an option and actually gets the ledge jump into the back here. Great job by him. He's going to go ahead and take stock number one, 105. It could be worse for him. He needs to go ahead and get it out of here. Comes the new drop. But does miss the falling down here. No great DI. But the combo's coming in anyway. 72% already. Luigi, he does miss the upbeat though, but the tilt. This is going to be the only punish. This is really good for him. He actually uses the upbeat, but he gets hit up with the back here, Mr. Kong Kong. Gets the stop taken, but really good job by Vader. He's doing the best as he can. He tries to get the confirm, but great job by taking the platform and that up smash. The hitbox does stay out a little longer. He did a great job baiting out the tornado, but it just wasn't enough. Tonka moves pushing forward. He needs to rush him down. He can't let Vader set up camp. He's fishing for these smash attacks. And here it comes, trying to use the down smash. The down tilt's forcing him off. He doesn't have another one. He's gonna try to interrupt him with the platform. Barely seems alive. The tornado misses as well. Mr. Kong not finding its mark. Go ahead and throw out these specials as well. The, my goodness. Not the tornado. After the fire hydrant blind, he's trying to go for these stairs, but it's gonna get short of the Actually, so close right through, or less than Sprunk, or let's go for Terry, but unable to work out from there. He's really forced to go for the shield dash, and he's gotta be careful with that bell, because one stun could smell the end of his stock, and these projectiles are providing such a bad. Providing such a big barrier for him to get through, that dash attack finally gets him through. 137, the both at even percent. A disadvantage state, and here comes the jabs! Couldn't carry all of them. Kind of difficult to do, but the tornado he actually falls through. This is really bad for him. Mr. Konkon does miss the fair as well, but the tornado finally catches up with the true get up. Great job against Khan. Read it. 134. What can he do with this rage though? And what can Vader do to make sure that it doesn't become a factor? Sitting up camp once more, but this time Mr. Konkon he turns with the fireball, but it was way too late. You can't contest that. Oh, it's like that, so. Vader getting away with that stock, but being 58% in the process, not looking the best as he can. That tornado clips him out 71% already. What's the current option that Vader doing so much? It's such a good option for Luigi. It's always been a great option in every game. Getting hit out as well. Great tornado. Read his tornado's been on point. The down switch in the back here as well. 121. This Mr. Conco just needs one heavy read. at 0%. Vader hasn't touched him on this last stock. And trying to use these stairs over and over again. He almost read the get up option, but it was actually a roll this time. But once again, forced into this offstage interaction. It was a ledge trap. He actually caught the roll. My goodness, that tornado is so good at sucking people in. But here it comes. He's trying to use it. He tried to knock it back, but unable to find it. 46% this rage is a huge problem, but 160%. Here comes the tornado once more. But it's not going to kill. It is really stale. Not at this point. Mr. Kaka hits him with a dare, though. The reminiscence of Melee.
Great job, Mr. Kong Kong, really capitalizing on the fact that Vader is disadvantaged. It's horrible. Luigi. Moving on board into the next game. Hopefully, Vader will be able to shake this off, try to find his way in to this matchup because it just does not look like it was working out for him. Cuts. And nice, cold sip. Mr. Kong Kong, washing it off. Here we go. Game number two of this set of winter quarterfinals. Forward. Right now, immediately, Mr. Kong Kong goes on the aggressive. Remember, Vader wants to make sure he gets up this camp, this projectile, and able to use that fire hydrant in order to get in the way of it. But Mr. Kong Kong doing a great job finding a way around it. He's overwhelming Vader and able to get these Z drops and these tornadoes as well. Oh, it barely misses out, but the last part actually beat it out. Interesting. It just shows how good Pac Man's grab can be. He's able to fully exploit it, but the S Rush finally comes out. Kong Kong getting clipped out. My goodness, this is an entirely different game we're seeing from Vader. He's able to really charge up his projectiles and get this down. Mr. Kong Kong finally gets the tornado off 41%. He's trying to get percentage down, but it's not looking too good for him. He uses the Nair as a way to get the Fire Hydrant out of there, but he's trying to find his way in. Shielding, he's dash. He's dashing up and shielding because it's the only way to find a, find a way to get around these projectiles. But it actually, it seems like he's pinning him to this platform. Very interesting enough, Mr. Kong Gun isn't afraid to go on the defensive, especially like this. But looking at the fire left and right, it's just getting a little, uh, a little obvious, I would say. But Mr. Kong Kong getting knocked away. This is freaking really good for Pac-Man. But the jabs don't hit. Thankfully, that fire hydrant there was interrupting it. But the f tilt from Luigi does hit it away. A great carry this time. That back is going to chunk away. At that fire hydrant, what's the option used in there into the up air, but unable to find a great connection. Come again, here comes the tornado, as I said, but uses it to drift away with the air out of shield. Doesn't worry about that cross up, it doesn't matter what it is. And air dodge to get away from it, but the tornadoes are getting a little too obvious. Mr. Kong Kong, it's got a lot of end lag, and it's really unsafe on shield. Dodging out once more, going for these airs, going for the grab. He knows that the back row around that edge of the stage will kill. It's forced to shield out the water and the fire hydrant. Moving on forward. One back here near the edge is going to kill him, but great job. Vader going to go ahead and go for the circle camping, I see. Moving all around the stage, making sure that Mr. Kong Kong makes that one mistake that will cost him the stock. And great tornado to read to get it down, but the throw, great usage of the back catching Mr. Kong Kong on the end lag of it, and barely survives the back here as well. Oh my goodness. He's doing the best as he can, 140%. A lot of rage to work off. That dash attack not quite enough to kill him. And Mr. Kong Kong desperately finishing the stock, but he knows that Vader's panic option is that neutral get up, and that tornado is ready to deal with it. Oh my goodness, it's so easy to catch. And here we go, the Zare's missing the jab as well, so both of them loving their movement. But he finds some way. Remember, Mr. Kong Kong just needs one grab in order to really get 50 damage off, or potentially to zero to death on Mac Man. But it seems like Vader has doing a really good job walling him out with these aerials, but great job by Mr. Kong Kong to auto-cancel his movement. But he's doing the best he can throwing out these fireballs. And once again, he's got him pinned on this Legends, but it's moving away, forcing him back on stage. And he knows that a lot of Pac-Man players like to use it, but the Ebb Smash finally catches him out. So much damage coming into play, Mr. Kong Kong. But he's the one at disadvantage, and that bell goes flying with that water. And finally use that Zare in order to interrupt that orange. The tech doesn't get it though, but the dash that surely does. 69% and the down air spike. Great tech. He actually forced him in a real bad position, but he's gonna be fine. My goodness, that dash attack. Not all the hits land, so he's able to get away from it. Well, great fair in order to trade it with that melon. He's gonna get away. He's so close to that. Both these players are so close to that. And remember, if Luigi is actually able to get it, this could be massive. Gonna go ahead and throw these fireballs away for these chip damage in this bear in order to snuff out those projectiles using this air once more, including the down smash. It almost caught Mayor. He needs to be careful. It's a double edged sword in this case. He tried to go for the pit and grab, but it barely misses. No punish though. My goodness, and they're both up there, but the up smash finally connects. Mr. Con Con. Oh my goodness, what a clutch up smash in order to secure it. He was on top of the fire hydrant. So the up smash was finally able to connect, but Vader unable to get his. But he finally gets the melon with that Z drop. Excellent stuff. So even stock, even game, even percent. So these backers from Luigi are doing a great job, including the F smash as well. Interrupts at 61%. This is an entirely different Kong Kong. 
He is moving forward and not allowing Vader to wall him out. Great parry once more. He gets the Z drop into the dash attack, but unable to find all the hits. Unable to connect with that bear, though, but the tornado finally interrupts the cherry. This is looking so good. And the up air front of this is forcing out the air dodge, but no punish on that one. Great RAR in order to get that back here out. But my goodness, he's finally catching it now. Throwing out the projectiles, point blank is not safe, my guy. And the up beat surely isn't. And the up smash, if he juked around, that potentially could have been the stock. But Mr. Kong has got the bell. He couldn't grab it again. He tried to go for it, but 80%, one straight up smash could potentially spell the end. I didn't know Vader's fishing for a potential bell combo. They are to close out the stock, but he can't go for a panic neutral getup. He knows that Mr. Konka will go for that tornado, and it barely misses out. He's going for this air, but it's unsafe like that. He's going for this tornado. Mr. Konka loves using that down special in these clutch scenarios, because he knows he'll get it, but he barely misses out. But a nice blood punish from Vader. He's unable to get anything out of the flare. He forces him out into the open. But nice job, and here comes the tornado. Is that enough? It's not it actually sets him in the opposite direction he wanted to go, but the platform is going to force some issues going in, and a great bell, but unable to find anything. This is such a close game. Who's going to take it? Vader needs to take this in order to stay alive. He's holding onto that shield for years, but he's unable to find anything. The orange gets shielded out and punched away. Oh my goodness. The dash attack, that misses, but he's going to be saved. Oh my goodness. Vader, 162. He's got so much rage to work with. The bell getting off the close with a great shield from Mr. Concon. He's able to do it just in time. He's going for the zero. It's so close. The jab misses as well. What is happening? Is that tornado going to be enough? It is, my goodness. Mr. Concon's face, he didn't even think he deserves that. But thankfully for him, he finally clutches it out with that down beat.